Good morning, students. My name is Samuel Chuku Emeka. Uh, in this video, we shall study the international system of units, or what we call the SI metric system. That is the system international uh, metric system. Now, this is the second unit we can use in measurement. Remember, we have been discussing the United States customary system. Uh, that system is basically used in United States and uh, some countries like Liberia. But uh, the international system is widely used. It's used by many countries, uh, including uh, Nigeria. Uh, it's used in Nigeria. And even in the United States, some, you know, we have a lot of international companies here. Uh, like the Hyundai Motor Manufacturing Company, so uh, owned by the Koreans, you will still use uh, uh, the international system, despite the fact that you are in the United States. Uh, some industries, even United States industries, some of them use international system uh, or the metric system. So it is important that you learn this system. That is why we need to learn it. And I must tell you, it is much, much easier. Much, much easier than the United States customary system. Why, am I, why, did I, why do I say so? Because, uh, you know, if you look at the United States customary system, the linear measure, measurement of length or distance, you talk about the inch, you talk about the feet, you talk about rods, miles, furlongs, Come on, it's a lot of them. You talk about the yards. Okay, but guess what? In the United States, I mean, in the, in, in the metric system, all you need to learn is the prefix. Okay, the basic standard unit for linear measure is the meter. Every other thing you need to learn is just the prefix. Okay, kilometer, millimeter, centimeter, decimeter. Once you learn the prefix, you're done. And to be honest with you, I'm not going to use any table here. I'm not going to give you a table like, you know, like I did in the United States customary system. I had to uh, draw the table, you know, the conversion table, how many inches make one uh, foot, how many feet make one yard, how many rods make one mile. Come on, I'm not going to do that here. I'm just going to, in this video, I will teach you the basics, and if you learn that basics, you are good to go. Trust me, you're good to go. So, uh, this video will just be learning the basics, which is the prefix. Let's get started. Okay, I will teach you the, we will just do the basic prefixes, the basics. Okay, at least the one that you really need to know for a start. So we have a table here, prefix, symbol, and the multiplication factor. Like I said, if you learn the prefix, then it is super, super easy. Trust me, it is. So we start with the highest, you know, what I start descending order from the highest to the lowest, from the greatest to the least, descend in order. So the first one on our list, we have Terra. Let me use green. Okay. Terra. Terra is capital T. And the multiplication factor is 10 raised to power 12. Terabyte. You know, like you say, hey, what's this? What's the volume of your hard drive what's the capacity of your hard drive you say it's one t one t big t you know some folks say one t or you say two t external hard drive of two terabyte okay so this means uh, 10 raised to power 12 bytes if you have a one tb this means 10 raised to power 12 uh, bytes okay which is a trillion, a trillion bytes. Okay, a trillion bytes. Let me this. So this is a, 
you can say 1 trillion 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 the next one on our list is the giga giga gigabytes giga ohm giga right and this is 10 raised to power 9 1 billion bytes gb you've seen a 3 gig you say 3 gig yeah which means it's a 3 billion bytes okay gigabytes or 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay next one is mega mega is uppercase m megawatts megawatts of electricity right megabytes megawatts megameter mega ohm okay this is 10 raised to power 6 or 1 million 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay the next one is the kilo kilo uppercase k 10 raised to power 3 kilogram kilogram kg kilometer kilometer one kilometer is a thousand meters because it's 10 raised to power three meters when you say one kilometer kilometer this means the kilo is just 10 raised to power three meters that is what it means kilometer kilogram kilowatts kilobytes okay or one thousand the next one is hecto hecto hectometer hecto lowercase h this is 10 raised to power 2 or 100 the next one is deca decameter deca deca is lowercase d a this is 10 raised to power 1 or just 10 one decagram dag one decameter 10 meters one decameter one decagram 10 grams okay now let's go to the negative exponents next one is the deci small deci small d deci is 10 raised to power negative 1 or 0 0.1 decimeter deci ohm decigram okay the next one is centi centi small c this is 10 raised to power negative 2 or 0 0.01 centimeter centigram like if i say now 5 centimeter this means five times centi is 10 raised to power negative two meters so you see the unit is meters any other thing is the prefix when we say centigram the unit is gram the centi is just the prefix okay if we say uh centi watts the unit is watts the centi is just the prefix okay uh let's see let me raise this the next one is the milli milli small m now you see uh, this is uh, in in your medicine in a uh, 10 raised to power negative 3 or 0 0.001 like you go and take a ibuprofen maybe 10 10 milligram 10 mg milli that is 0 0.001 gram that's i mean one milligram is 0 0.001 gram so 10 milligram would be zero ten 10 times 0 0.001 which is 0 0.01 gram milli millimeter 
Milimira. Okay. Uh, the next one is the micro. Micro is just, this is a, actually a Greek word. We call it the mu. Mu is a Greek word. Mu is, well, it's, uh, well, it's written as that. This is not you. Okay, it's, it is not you. It, uh, let me write it again. You just, how do you write it? You put a line here and then you write you like this up. It is pronounced as mu. Mu. This is 10 raised to power negative 6. Or 0 0.123451. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah. So, uh, uh, micrometer, micro ohm, microgram. Okay. The next one is a nano, 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 small n. Nanotechnology. Uh, that's the tech, uh, I mean, it's a current technology they are working on uh, using a very tiny particles. Very, very tiny. Uh, when we talk of micro, I didn't mention microfarad, electricity. You see a lot of uh, microfarad. Okay? Uh, the same thing with nano, nanofarads. Nano, 10 raised to power negative 9. Or. Oh. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One. Then our last but not the least is the pico, pico farad, pico small p. That is ten raised to power negative twelve. Oh, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so uh, this is at least we started from 10 raised to power 12 to 10 raised to power negative 12. So the main thing is to learn the prefixes. The next thing we shall do is to begin solving the units and converting and adding and subtracting and you name it. Okay? Thank you so much, students, for listening. Uh, let me... Uh, now, if you want a comprehensive video on all this, please feel free to go to my website. Uh, I've written it in other videos, but I, I'm supposed to mention it in every video, so you know, but that's fine. Just, if you go to my website, peace. S A M D O M F O R P E A C E dot com and you click on my picture to enter, click on my picture, you know, click on my picture to enter on my pic, then you click on mathematics and it will bring you to it, it brings you straight to arithmetic. Now I put you know, the U.S. customary system and the metric system, I'll just put it under arithmetic. Yeah, I mean, I don't consider it algebra. I consider it arithmetic, simple conversion. So you can feel free to browse other resources as well. And if you have any questions, feel free to call me. I'm sorry, that's the call. Well, feel free to make a comment or see me in class, ask me questions in class, okay? Or make a comment. All right. Thank you so much, students. If you still want to contact me, go ahead. You can still contact me through my website. And if you have my number, you can still call me. No problem. Thank you so much, students, for listening to this video presentation. You have a great day.